Hello and welcome. Today, uh, it's more for those who are just getting into CNC or are thinking about getting into CNC. In this video, uh, we're going to go over the work process for your 3018, 3040, um, more hobbyist controlled CNC machines. I remember when I first started looking into uh, all this, the software that was needed, it was a little bit confusing, but there's some great stuff out there. So I just wanted to share with y'all everything I found during all my research uh, through YouTube and online, the communities. I hope this helps you on your path forward in making a decision on what software you're going to use. When I started looking into the workflow process with uh, CNC, it kind of felt like that um, South Park episode, <laughs> the underpants gnomes. Uh, step one, steal underpants. Step two, step three, profit. So that's kind of what I'm uh, hoping to kind of clear up in this video today. So we're going to look at the workflow process. Uh, we'll go over a few of the different software. Uh, it is in by no means a complete list. Uh, it's just kind of the bigger names out there that you're going to run into. So uh, let's jump into it. Here we have the workflow process. So the workflow is CAD, CAM, Control, Communication, Machine. You can think of this kind of in the terms of building a commercial building. Um, you're going to need a designer or an architect to do kind of the concept. Uh, you're going to need an engineer uh, to do the fine tuning, all the details, um, all the numbers, basically. Um, you're going to need a GC to oversee the project. Uh, then you're going to need subcontractors to do floors. One may be doing walls. Uh, one may be doing just the tile. And then you're going to need the skilled workers who actually install everything. And if we apply that to the workflow in CNC, you're going to have CAD, who are the designers and architects. CAM, uh, they're your engineers. Control is your GC. Uh, your communication is going to be your subcontractor. And your machine is the skilled worker. So if we jump into these um, a little bit more. So what is CAD? CAD is just computer-aided design. Uh, that's going to be Illustrator, Inkscape. Um, Fusion 360 has a CAD portion. Um, CAM, uh, that's your computer-aided manufacturing. They're, that's where you're going to set your tool paths. You're going to tell the bits or laser what to do, how deep to cut, how bright to burn. Um, that's, that's what your CAM software is doing. Uh, and then you have control, and that actually moves the machine. Control can be either software or hardware. I use the offline controller, so mine's going to be hardware. But then there is software, which you tether to a computer and your machine that can that does all the controlling. Uh, then you have communication, and that's going to be your board. Your board is going to determine what kind of communication you have. You're either going to have Gerbil or Mach 3. Basically, Gerbil is open source, and Mach 3 is paid uh, licensing. And then last, uh, we have the machine itself. It could be 3018, 3040, whatever. This is, again, for, you know, hobby CNC machines. And then that brings us to software choices. And there's lots of software out there, and you're going to want to pick what's going to be best for you. So on the software choices, um, there's full, independent, CAD CAM, and CAM control uh, setups. And again, this is going to depend on what you are doing. If you're doing something simple and you just want one program, uh, you have artwork from somewhere else, uh, you can use uh, the full uh, method with something like ESOL, where it'll give you CAD, CAM, and control uh, functions. The CAD part, uh, it's more of a simplistic CAD. Um, so if you're going to want to do your own uh, work, I would suggest uh, getting Inkscape or Illustrator. Now you could choose to have an individual software for CAD, an individual software for CAM, and an individual software for control. That's the way my setup is. Um, for CAD, I use Illustrator. For CAM, I use Carbide 
uh, create and for control, uh, I use the actual physical controller. The controller part can either mean the physical controller or a software controller, and that could be UGS, laser gerbil, uh, candle, easel. You could use any of those softwares for the controller. And the last two you see there under independent, uh, that's just really a mix of having one software do two things and then using the second software to do either control or cat. But we'll jump more into that uh, down below. So here are the examples of uh, some of the different programs you're going to hear and see when you're doing your research. Um, you're going to see easel. Uh, it's a full uh, software choice. And from what I can see, does a good uh, job of cam and control. Uh, as for CAD, it's just going to be simple. You can do signs and text really well. Uh, I'm not sure you're going to, you know, paint masterpieces there. Next, uh, light burn. That's uh, going to be if you're using a laser. Full laser. Um, it is full. Uh, it does have CAD uh, capabilities. Again, simple. Uh, I would recommend you know illustrator or inkscape use one of those to do your cad but it's cam and control uh so far i've been using it for about four days and i haven't had any issues so that one is paid i think it's like 40 bucks i'm still on the free trial so probably be buying that at the end of the month then you have illustrator and inkscape those are both just cad programs those are great vector drawing software programs. There you're going to make SVGs that you can import into your CAM uh, software and make the tool pathings for those. And I think those are really your two best options. If you're just starting out, Inkscape is free and Illustrator, you're going to have to purchase that one. So Illustrator, Inkscape, you're, I don't think you're going to go wrong with either of those. Next, um, we'll talk about Carbide Create. That's a CAD CAM software. Now, it is uh, four bits. I haven't seen any laser part. I could be wrong. I haven't looked too hard either. But that's what I use uh, when I'm doing my bits, uh, my bit work. And I really like that one. No issues with it. I really just use it as a CAM more than I do a CAD. Uh, very simple stuff if need to add a box or a circle or something like that. Just import my Illustrator work in and get the tool pass set. So, but I do like that one. Next, talk about these two at the same time as well. Blender and Fusion 360. Um, they're kind of like the Inkscape Illustrator example with Blender being the free open source and Fusion 360 being the paid version haven't used F Fusion 360 maybe one day. I have used Blender, but have not used the CAD CAM part of it. But we'll look into it and I'll let you know how that goes. Next is Laser Gerbil, and that is just a control and just for laser. You import your files, set your settings there, burn. Uh, UGS is another controller as well as Candle. So that's just a brief, brief overview of the whole workflow process and there is a lot of different software out there you can use so explore find what works for you that that's the most important part so if we go back to the south park reference step one i'm going to say is cad cam step two control communication and step three machine your profit so i hope this helps you uh, a little bit through the process of picking out what's going to work for you and your machine. Remember, find one project that you want to do, whether it be cutting out wood, doing a 3D uh, carbon wood, you're wanting to do acrylic, if you're wanting to do aluminum. Find one thing and focus on that. Get all the different moving parts down. Experiment. Try different things with different softwares. Maybe the first software you use isn't going to be the best software. For you. Don't be afraid to go and try different things. Uh, a lot of the software uh, has free trial periods. So on the software side, I would say, which of these programs and what combination or is ESOL going to be the one that, that you stick with? Because you've got your files, you're not really doing a lot of CAD work. Uh, you're just mainly needing to do CAM and control because you get SVGs off of Etsy or, you know, get the free ones. It's all good. So if that's what you're going to do, maybe, you know, 
don't invest, you know, and buy CAD software. That's really what it's going to boil down to is what is going to work for your project? What do you need it to do? So until next time, happy cutting. <laughs> Ich bin nur